Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, we successfully in able to insert our block category data, right? So now in this video, I want to complete that edit and update. So I hope you already know what exactly the things you have to do. That will be very simple. Now that is edit and then um, and delete. So here we have to edit and delete it with a specific one of the ID. Now let's do that work for doing this right now. Uh, that is in our blog all into this all area you can see now that is our route as a edit I will name it as a edit blog okay you did blog and category edit block category and also we have to edit it with a specific one of the ID for the reasons right now we are already into the for each loop I have already get all that our block category data with this item now with this item, I want to access our database one of the field as an ID great so now let's create our edit block category and also they have one of the ID if you now go to web I want to create another one that will be another get method but I copy it and then I paste it so after that our name I name it as edit block category so that will be as edit block category route name and our URL will be as edit block category and also after that there should be one of the ID okay I simply added that ID and our method will be as edit I name it as edit whatever the name actually choose now I name it as edit block category I copy it now go to our web mm, that means in our um, block category controller so into this block category controller after that insert now I want to do and create new one as a public function and our method name great and also I make it as an method here also we have to do we have to pass our requested ID right so now I simply pass that our requested ID great and rest of this will be same with the find or fail method we have to get it better I get some of the references from our portfolio controller you can see the same things better I copy it now in our block controller into this block controller after that I paste it say so name as a block controller I'm sorry <laughs> not that block category I said simply name it as a block category now if you want to find it it will be find in our which table a block category table so into the block category with our model as a block category I simply added as a find or fail our requested ID it should be check it and it will be return view in our admin okay into this admin I have already created one of the new folder as a blog underscore category so that was a blog underscore category right into the block category folder I want to now create another new page I name it as a block category edit okay so then that will be the block category edit page I simply copy now I want to create our block category edit page in our block category folder simply open it click as a save as name it as a block category edit dot blade dot PHP so the in this page that will be everything will be same as per our ad page right so if you go to our a block category ad page I copy everything and now right now we don't need this in our ad edit page here I paste it only we have to do we have to display the our value right so now that will be as a edit I make it as edit block category page and our failed will be just like that same as a block category name uh, that is our name will be the same type will be same only we have to do we have to uh, pass that value and value if you want to access it what exactly you have to do I have already get our specific ID data that means requested ID data right requested ID data means what I hope you already remember if you know click the save all I just simply refresh it and if you put your causer you can see there is a one ID so one ID is the requested ID when you access it that is a two ID that is two ID is our requested ID okay now I simply get it and I simply pass it uh, with our name I just pass it with the name as a block category now we, with this block category you are able to access our specific ID data in our block category edit page now into this block category edit page by our name by the name as a block category right so here I pass it as a block category so now with this block category I want to done to access our field name and our field name as a what if you go our field name as a block category if you now click the browse now it successfully inserted all the data so that will be as a block underscore category as per our name I name it as a block category so now our value should be display that's all and then our that will be as update I make it as update okay update perfect now if you click as a save all now if you go refresh it 
Okay, now I'd like as a Facebook, click as a edit. Yeah, you can see successfully get our X specific requested ID one um, data is visible. And if you go back, now that is our Laravel. Yeah, Laravel is now successfully updated. Okay, friends. So now I want to do I want to update. So that will be very much easy process. Uh, only we have to pass one of the hidden ID, right? Because we have to pass our that is the actual requested ID. That is a requested ID. I want to pass it. You can pass it uh, before I have already discussed about that things with you. You can pass it with the input tag, right? Input tag. Rather than if you want to pass some of the variable, you can also pass that variable in here. So I better show you right now. I don't want to pass it like that way. Okay, here I simply remove it, and from here I want to to pass it. So if you want to pass, I have already passed all that our specific ID data with the block category. So I am actually sharing both of this with you. So that will be as a um, block category. So I have also used it in our and the same concept you can see there is a route and then there have one of the id i have already used it in our edit page so you can also use it into the update page okay so now there is our name and with this block category i want to done to access our field name as id okay so you can pass one of the input field either then you can pass one of the id so now our route will be which one i make it as an update okay update update block category and now into this our route name area i pass that id if you go to our web route and if you go to our previous one for the updated you can say i didn't pass any id because of all from our page i pass one of the input field id so right now i'm actually passing it from our url so for the reasons here we have to do have to create our, our route so then that will be just like that i copy it and then i paste it and now i name it as a update block category and that will be on the post method and also that have on the id right so now that should be like this okay and that should be a first of all our name i make it as a update block category and then that's on the id okay friend and now i want to turn to uh, create another new method that will be as update okay that was update block category now i want to create this method in our um, block category controller and also make that sure that our route will be as a post route right that will be the post method so i simply make it as a post perfect okay perfect okay so now we have to create our update block category in our block category here after this I simply name it as a public function and our method. So that is our, sorry, that is our method. That is our method. Okay, so now that will be just like the same. Also here, I pass that our ID, right? I pass that our um, ID, that is one of the requested ID and also that is one of the post method. For the reasons here, we have to pass that as a request and then the dollar request and also I pass another one as a ID, right? So that means that is actually our requested ID. So I simply pass that our requested ID. Great. So I have shared both of this with you rather than when you pass an input field ID, then you have to input it by the requested ID, right? So now you can actually do that things like that way also. So for the update, everything will be same here. Better I want to do, uh, I simply copy it, I copy it. And now I want to do, I want to paste it. Okay, here I paste it. So for the update, uh, that will be our block category. So into this block category, I have to do, I have to pass our find. That is the same concept as a find or fail. And find or fail will be our which one. And then that will be our ID. And also after that, that will be the update method. So, okay, I want to do, I want to update. And here we have to do, have to pass our, that is the requested ID. So I simply pass this requested ID with our find or fail. Then that is our update. It will be updated our field name. The rest of this will be just like the same that will be display another message as updated okay update updated successfully and then that will be written redirect to our all category block okay so that means everything is same here you don't need to pass anything everything will be just like that same so now friend let's check this out if you now click on the save all if you now go now i refresh it now there is a block category undefined constant in our form you can see i didn't use that <laughs> any dollar sign that should be one of the dollar sign right so here that should be one of the dollar sign and then with this dollar we have to access our id right you can see i have already accessed it like that before so now there is our another field as an id now click the save all now if you go refresh it yeah it's successfully loaded so now i want to update as a laravel one now click as a update block category you can see block category updated successful 
is now successfully updated so now friend i hope you get that idea if you want to pass some of the input field id you can pass it rather than if you want to pass that uh, id like that way you can also do this work okay so now i have shared both of this with you now or delete so that will be very easy better i to complete it also so that will be a delete I make it as a delete a block category and also we have to delete it with a specific one of the id now we have to go to our web route that will be one of the get method i copy it and then i paste it okay so now if you go that will be the delete block category i copy it so then that will be as a delete block category and then there is a bleed delete and block category okay the delete block uh, block category and we have to relate it with a specific one of the id now to create on the new method our method will be as a delete okay so then that will be as a delete block category now we have to create that delete block category in our um, block controller block category controller so simply go to our block category controller here after that i name it as a public sorry that that will be the public and then function and our method will be as a delete great so now also process will be just like that same here we have to do have to pass our requested id so that is our requested id i simply pass it in our block okay here i simply pass it great so for the delete what exactly you have to do if you go to our portfolio controller i have already complete the total code application you can see that will be just like that same better i copy it right now here we don't need to unlink any images only that will be same okay so now after that i paste it so now our model name our model name as a block category because that data should be deleted from our block category right so now there is a block category find or fail our that is our requested id and then i simply loaded our delete method so with this delete method it will be deleted our block category so it will be displayed as a deleted that means a block category and our message will be as a blog category deleted successful and then that will be returned direct to the back page because of all that will be the same page right so that means everything is perfect okay friend everything is perfect now if you click as a save all and now if you go i want to refresh it okay the, like i said that is on the test i want to, want to remove this test now click as a yes delete it now that should be gone yeah you can see there is a block category deleted successfully how much is it as you can see friends so now here we successfully complete our total code application for the block category so you know next video i want to work for our blog so blog here that if, if you compare your code with the portfolio you can see that is pretty much same things because here i have also uploaded some of the images some of the name okay there is a title and when you click it here it will be returned direct to the details page so for the blog that will be just like that same here that should be one of the images and now i have already complete our category so how to really create two of this table relationship i will show you and also you can see there is a date and then that will be as a one of the title and when you click into the title that will be returned direct to our another specific id page right that means our blog details page so how can do this work in our next video step by step i will show you everything with a live example so thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.